Another 7, 8, 8 here. Great action figure. So great. Top tier. Love G.I. Joe. Great. I'm in hell. Slaughterize it. Right, right. Wait a minute. Ready. 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 Silence kill. I love you, Terradrome. <gasps> Wait! I can explain! Excuse me. It would have been nice to see how Sunbow would have animated these guys. They should have been used in the comic book more, too. Night will fall soon. For this review, I have a special guest who insists on being here, whether I think it's a good idea or not. So please welcome Sergeant Really Mean. Thank you, Commander. Ladies and ladies, my name is Sergeant Really Mean, and I have heard all the jokes about my name, but so please forgive me if I do not laugh at your witticisms. I will be your drill instructor for the afternoon. I sincerely hope that the experience is pure hell. If every single one of you doesn't shape up right now, you will end up exactly like me. I am 47 years old. I am thrice divorced. I suffer from irritable bowel syndrome, and I live in a Jeep down by the latrine. <laughs> I amassed an almost complete collection up to the release of the animated movie, and I had one favorite toy of the line, a 1985 Bridge Layer, and its driver, Tollbooth. Hey, wait a minute. He has background music. I don't have background music. Let's get some background music going in here. Yeah, that's it. That's better. If ever a figure deserved to go to action figure hell, it is this guy! Jovers, sing you to your rest.
to begin. a preview of the upcoming JoeCon exclusive Battle Force 2000 figures. Hey guys, stay tuned after HCC reviews the vintage blocker because I'll be looking at the modern version we'll be seeing at JoeCon this year. Thank you JoeFan82, don't forget to check out his YouTube channel if you haven't already. JoeFan82 has been so helpful with these previews, I wonder if he could educate us about other things. JoeFan, what would you say are the geopolitical implications of Britain's interest in the Rock of Gibraltar? Hey guys, stay tuned after HCC reviews the vintage blocker because I'll be looking at the modern version we'll be seeing at JoeCon this year. Fascinating. Another question for you. Do you really think the existence of the Higgs boson was confirmed by the Large Hadron Collider in 2013? Hey guys, stay tuned after HCC reviews the vintage blocker because I'll be looking at the modern version we'll be seeing at JoeCon this year. <laughs> Will wonders never cease? Be from a Transformer fan's point of view, it has some merit. For that point of view, I have asked my Transformers expert on call, CyberTiger, to prepare an in-depth, thorough Transformers analysis of the Future Fortress. CyberTiger, from a Transformers perspective, is the Future Fortress good? Hmm. No. Thank you, Cyber Tiger. That analysis was transformative. Wait a minute. I'm the second son of a second son. Maybe I would have a little bit of the power? This is a comic book shop. The comic book was invented in 1976 by a stand-up comic named Edward Book. You can purchase them at your local comic book shop, where they are sorted by size and flavor. I'll take these G.I. Joe comics, please. That'll be $12. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, don't look around the eyes, don't look around the eyes, look into my eyes. Three, two, one, you're under. Now, you don't want to charge me $12 for these G.I. Joe comic books. There's a sale today, all G.I. Joe comic books are free. Oh, and your boss called, he said I can have anything in the store because I'm his favorite customer. And three, two, one, you're back in the room. Still be twelve dollars. Still not working. This is Captain Hooded Cobra Commander of the Starship Second Prize. I have been transported to this wilderness planet by a mysterious alien life form. 
but I am not alone. I am being hunted by the Gorn. I have no weapons, only this recording device. There doesn't appear to be any signs of civilization anywhere. This is a time for another vintage. Okay, I'll bite. It really is bigger on the inside. Cool. What could possibly go wrong? Sensing something. There's a stirring down below. My dimensionally transcendental time trousers are trying to tell me something. <sighs> He's arrived. He's arrived. Wow! What is this place? Hey, Hoodster! How's my all-time favorite classic G.I. Joe reviewer? Cyber Tiger! Nice to see you, buddy. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you have arrived safely. I trust that your journey was, um, comfortable? You brought me here? Of course. Welcome to my country. Wait a minute! I'm in Ireland! England. England! Welcome to the United Kingdom, mate. Would you like a cup of tea? No, thank you. I would offer you a scone, but unfortunately, a raiding party of Silurians have eaten me out of house and home. I already ate. Aha! Would you like some Marmite? Would you like some of my personalized Marmite. No! Sorry for bringing you here without warning, Hoodster. And the TARDIS will take you home. Hurry along. I have an appointment with Her Majesty, you know. We're going rollerblading. Oh! <laughs> <clears throat> yes, well... Goodbye, Hoodster. Safe journey, my friend. Thanks, Cyber Tiger. Goodbye! Goodbye, England. I hope to return soon. Safe journey, my friend. Oh no! According to my TARDIS tracking app, Hoodster's TARDIS is spinning out of control in the Time Vortex! Thundering wife fronts Hoodster's in mortal danger! Hang on in there, old friend! Hang on in there! That TARDIS was in perfect working order! This could only have happened if someone has deliberately interfered with the TARDIS. It's sabotage. Are you all
all right, mate. You've got to be kidding. Carol, Carol, Solomon. Hey, little girl. Hello, nice elderly man. How can I help you? Hey, it's me, Hooded Cobra Commander. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it looks pretty funny to me. Change me back. Why do I need to fix this? I already brought you back to life. You can still do reviews like this. If I do my reviews like this, who's gonna recognize me? Who will ask for my autograph at JoeCon? Okay, I'll change you back, but only under one condition. Next year, you have to review the G.I. Joe animated movie. Deal. You can't keep asking for my help. You can't keep doing this. Yes, I'm youngish again. And all I have to do is review the 1987 G.I. Joe animated movie next year. Which means I have to watch the G.I. Joe animated movie again. Change me back! This begins our trip to Joe Con. Uh, we've all been up since 5 a.m. Uh, and we want to get out of the house by 6 a.m. So uh, trying to get the kids all ready. Uh, nobody's very happy about uh, being up this early. I don't, everybody went to bed late because we had a lot to do. Uh, so everybody's tired, but but we're almost ready. And we'll be going in this blue car. And uh, that's Susan's car. So we're about ready to go. <laughs> nice. Pretty good, Sarge. Why are you still in your Eco Warriors uniform, and why are you still Eco Warrioring 26 years after your figure was released? I don't know what you mean. Why wouldn't I still be Eco Warrioring? You do know that the Eco Warriors were disbanded after the 1992 series, right? What? The Eco Warriors disbanded? And nobody told me? Didn't you think it was odd that there are no other eco-warriors around and you're the only one still doing that job? Flint, Ozone, Deep Six, they haven't appeared as eco-warriors for more than 20 years. I thought, I thought those guys were all just really late for work. They're not 25 years late for work, Clean Sweep. They all got different jobs. All this time, I've been working for a team that doesn't exist. I've wasted more than two decades of my life. Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. It's time for another vintage- Ugh. Ah! How fortunate that I found you both here at the same time. I am the Toy Master. The Toy Master? That's right, the Toy Master. I've taken your cohort, Hooded Cobra Commander 788, and I've added him to my collection, and he'll remain there forever! G.I. Joe Book, reporting in. Trophane 82, reporting in. Sanitarium Productions, checking in. Strider, reporting in. Knuckle up. Half the battle, reporting in. Stand by for orders. I sent Robo Joe. I sent Dr. Fibes. I sabotaged the TARDIS. Yet somehow you survived. I realized the only place you couldn't escape was in my collection. Hold up there, buckaroo! I suggest you let all those guys go! Or what? Or I'll have to do something about it! Oh, that's rich. I'm hardly worried about threats from a guy who wears the same shirt in every video. Hey, I'll wash in between episodes. Say goodbye to the kids! Toy Master, there's something I want you to see. What's that? This! No! I'm free! 
Let's pop the cap off the canister and there it is. This is 24 year old Play-Doh. It is hard, it's completely solid, except some parts have been crystallized. It has crumbled a bit, but it certainly doesn't look anything like Play-Doh. It's more of a, uh, a rock. It tastes surprisingly kind of minty. They call you fast draw. You probably think you can draw pretty fast. I reckon. You want to put your fast draw to the test? You think you can take me? Well, go ahead on. So, does everybody hate me now? What did you think of the review? Ew! G.I. Joe works better. It stinks. I can send you a septic tank, complete with the box. Get that thing away from me! Come on, you have to take it. I can't keep it here. Every time I put it on a shelf, it leaves a stain. Then why would I want it? Brighten up your room? What can I do to make us even? Hmm, the USS flag is still out of the question? Yes, and you won't take the septic tank as a substitute. No! Then what? I don't know. I can't think on an empty stomach. Hey, what do you have to eat around there? Let's see, we got soda, OJ, purple stuff. Sunny D? This message is for the fridge, if you should ever see this. At different times of the year, there are conventions where G.I. Joe fans get together. One such convention is JoeCon. Sadly, next year will be the last JoeCon. I am not affiliated with any of those conventions. I'm just a fan. I know your health makes it difficult to make personal appearances. I wouldn't want you to do anything that would jeopardize your well-being. However, if you could make it to one of those conventions, I promise you, Joe fans would be thrilled to see you. We would love to get your autograph right next to the printed autograph on your file card. We'd like to shake your hand and see you wearing that big 72 again. We would love the chance to treat you not as a sports star, but as a G.I. Joe. I have to ask Duke about this. Duke, are you still there? I am here, citizen. In the few minutes since we last spoke, I learned to speak Cantonese. I am so much smarter than you. I... Uh, uh, I have to know. Why do you have a crotch rocket? Are you compensating for something? I don't know what you mean. You know, it seems like you have a big crotch cannon to cover the fact that you are physically unimpressive. That is a negative. I have no need to compensate. I am perfect in every way. Well, if you don't have a crotch rocket to distract from anatomical inadequacies, then why? Very simple. Sitting on the rocket launcher lets me aim better. What? How? How can having a launcher at crotch level possibly help you aim? I have an eye down there. Are you serious? You have an eye down there? So you're saying you have one eye at crotch level? Oh my god. I hate you so much. It's big. Shut up! Alright, I put a poll up on Patreon for this week's review and the viewers chose Targat. I want to go the extra mile by demonstrating how Targat drops into action. Okay, you can do this. Just keep your knees bent, take slow, deep breaths, and jump when I say go. This is going to be great. I am so psyched up for this. I've never been this high up before. How far up are we? Oh my!
my god! I can't do it! I can't do it! This is the worst idea I ever had! Mommy! Get off! Just calm down! When I look down, my body locks up. I may have to change my pants. Don't be chicken. You have to do it for the viewers. This was your idea. But do I have to jump? Can't I just get down some other way? Like, like, maybe I could climb down a long rope. I don't have rope that long. Well, check! This is my life we're talking about here. All right. I'll check. I'm going to keep that rope. <laughs> just remember to bend your knees and breathe. Uh, uh, I forgot to bend my knees and breathe. That guy. No harm done then. That was my review of Targat. I hope you enjoyed it. That was my review of Mega Marines Gung Ho. I hope you enjoyed it. That's it. That's the review. Hey, where'd you go? Are you finished shooting the video? Thank you everyone for watching. Please remember to like this video on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and share this video. That's what helps this channel grow. I'll see you next week with another vintage G.I. Joe review. I am not going to say that catchphrase because it's stupid. And remember, until then, only G.I. Joe, 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 Joe is G.I. Joe. That's going to catch on.